This episode's called Together Forever, which makes you think that it's going to have something to do badass-wise with Tanjiro and Nezuko, which makes me think about, like, I love their relationship, honestly, because in other shonens where you got your main character trying to protect your sister or protect that one family member trying to save them, you know? Like, I'll be honest, in Code Geass, not only wasn't a badass demon, I'm just saying. You know what I, like... What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with another episode of Demon Slayer. Last episode, we had the continuation and the further fight. I forgot. I don't know both their names. I think I have them down. One of them is Yahaba, I'm pretty sure. And the other one is Sasamaru, something along those lines. With the eyes, the arrow demon and the Tamari demon. Both one of the 12 moons of Muzan fighting Tanjiro. Tanjiro's trying to protect Nezuko, uh, Tamayo, and Yushiro kind of getting hard though they're protecting the whole there's a lot i could talk about i talked about it last episode i'm super excited to hop into this episode super excited to catch up to where the anime is now i've been hearing such great things i'm so behind i'm so sorry you guys are so such the best and so patient with me i appreciate it um typical plugs if you guys want to see the the full instead of you know clicking just a normal reaction 10 15 minutes whatever if you guys want to see the full episode down in the corner make sure you check out the patreon down below as well as the next episode after this uh, as well with other very heavily copyrighted reactions certain ones have to be a redirect which this one is so at the top of the description there should just be a link directly to this reaction and then come back here and look at my review of it you know of course so click that or tap it at the top of the description other than that the top right under this i'm super pumped i'm super excited demon slayer episode 10 let's do this terms of a way to finish that fight i love when shows give you an unexpected twist of what you were not expecting because that's not what i would have expected at all i honestly would have expected tanjiro to do another somehow badass of what he did to the first guy to the tamari demon as well but the way to my i i really fuck with tamayo man the way she's able to handle herself She's very intelligent. She is clever, charming. She's very compassionate and empathetic. And I love how much she cares about Nezuko and her relationship. And she understands that relationship because she's also trying to cure some shit. It's just, this is the old lady that we've been needing. Oh, she's not really old. She's actually super like pretty. This is, but she is old. She's hella old. This is the old lady. She's like Tsunade. Except not mean, like Tsunade. This is the old lady that we've been needing in our lives, you know? In our Tanjiro Demon Slayer lives. And I'm so glad that we met her. Honestly, it's just been an inspiration to me. And I'm, I'm super excited. I was like, I was... Honestly, it wouldn't have been a bad idea if he gave Nezuko up. Just because I trust her and totally. And I know that when she says we're going into hiding to be safe, I know she probably has a dope-ass hiding spot that Nezuko could be safe. But you also gotta think, Nezuko is super dope to have in battle, and there's no safer than being with Tanjiro. Because no matter who Tanjiro goes against, if you put his shonen family love along the line of fighting someone, he's gonna win. Or when it comes to saving Nezuko, he will prevail. That's just Tanjiro, you know? I love her it's getting a callback and her using her, her scent, her blood as the scent again. I like the fact that we now know that it's bad against humans. It's not good to breathe that in. I also like how the end, I love the animation for it. I love how she used it. Meanwhile, her charming manipulation in order to get the Tamari demon to release the curse like that. That's an ingenious way of doing it. Um, Yushiro, this typical obsessive dopeness. I love their relationship. I've, I've said that too. Um, I'll let you out in one second, Yidi. Give me one second. Kind of reminded me of a uh, Carlisle and Edward in uh, Twilight. I know it's a weird reference to make towards a dope shonen anime, but oh, she's meowing. She wants out. But uh, just the way he was, he found him in like a hospital situation in a sickly and did it out of kindness, not just for you know, kind of wanted. And and she got his opinion. She's like, "Do you want this? Is you're gonna get hardships. You may live longer, but there's definitely a downside." And he, I I just like every aspect of the show so far. I'm super excited to find out where we go. I'm gonna watch this next episode. I gotta do some shit though. So I'll see you guys later. 
have a great day Dapper squad i appreciate you check out the patreon if you guys want to um see the next episode or rewatch this whole one down in the corner you never know check make sure you guys subscribe if you want to see everything make sure you guys hit that bell so you guys know exactly when i post all the videos i appreciate you dapper squad only well, make sure there's no q a or anything nope no q a y'all be the top of my answer though so if you guys ever want to ask me anything check out the discord down below I'll see you guys later. Peace out, Dapper Squad.